Hello and welcome to the Art of Travel. Today we are setting sail from Interlaken West, nestled among snowy peaks and charming villages. Right by the train station, down there, you'll see Pier One, a gateway to an aquatic adventure. We are setting sail not just across Lake Thun but through time itself, from Roman whispers to Alpine echoes. This journey unveils a tapestry of beauty. woven by glaciers and centuries prepare to be spellbound by landscapes that defy time and stories that captivate your soul we'll board our vessel over here look up there that is the train station the staircase in front connects us to where we came from And guess what? If you have a Swiss travel pass, Interrail pass, or the Eurail pass, you can hop on for free. For those without any pass, the ticket counter informs us to get the ticket on board. This is a modern Swiss passenger boat. Let's step inside to a cozy haven. Plush seats invite relaxation while large windows frame the world in a picture-perfect view. As we depart Interlaken, note the Aare Canal, built in the 19th century for hydropower generation and transport. Soon we'll enter the vast expanse of Lake Thun, measuring 17.1 kilometers in length. and reaching a depth of 217 meters This boat accommodates both first class passengers on upper decks and standard seating on the lower deck Note that you will have to pay extra for the first class access Lake Thun welcomes us with its majestic panorama. We came along this path right there. Mountains of varying heights flank the shoreline. Their snow-capped peaks reflecting the crystal clear water. Gentle waves lap against the boat, adding to the serene atmosphere. Welcome to the front deck. Let's take a closer look at where our journey began. As Nissen, a 2362 meter peak often called as the Pyramid of Lake Thun, and Stockholm, known for its jagged limestone cliffs, dominate the skyline. Look for charming villages dotting the shoreline with their historical churches and traditional Swiss architecture. We witness waves dancing like playful nymphs against a backdrop of giants. Snow-capped mountains piercing the sky 
with jagged peaks. Our first stop is Merlesian, a village with Roman roots evidenced by archaeological discoveries. In the 19th century, it became a popular tourist destination for its serene setting and proximity to Interlaken. Today, Merlesian offers lakeside relaxation, hiking trails and water sport activities. See that little village nestled amongst the trees? That's Merlesian, a temporary farewell. Next, we arrive at Follency, a tranquil village named after its small lake. Watch this cool trick. They hook the boat up with this giant rope to keep it steady in every weather. Now, let's head back to the other side for a different perspective. Fallency boasts crystal clear waters, ideal for a peaceful, relaxing atmosphere. It has started raining, but hold on to your hats, the view is still stunning. Look at that quaint little town nestled by the lake and those mountains rising up like giants in the mist. Okay, visibility might be taking a bit of a hit, but the water still sparkling like sapphires. And the mountains, even shrouded in fog, have a mysterious charm.
as we continue a journey admire the diverse landscapes surrounding lake than lush meadows and dense forests carpet the shoreline while glaciers carve dramatic rock formations in the mountains Our journey concludes at our final stop, Than, a medieval town established in the 12th century. While this marks the end of our boat trip, it's merely the beginning of an incredible Swiss adventure. Than was just the warm-up. Get ready, adventurers, because next time we're scaling the heights of Zermatt. Think glaciers, gondolas, and cheese that rivals any fondue you've ever tasted. Trust us. You won't want to miss this epic Swiss adventure. So hit that subscribe button, grab your hiking boots and prepare to be blown away by Matterhorn's majesty. Until then, keep those travel spirits high and thanks for watching.